All credit to Zuckerberg for going on the JRE, the biggest podcast of podcasts. But at the same time, like... Well, not now. Meghan Markle just <laughs> overtook Joe Rogan as the top podcast. Are you fucking kidding me right now? For real, I saw it today. Is that really serious? That's a real serious You're really thing. coming at me? We're going to look that? it up. Okay. <laughs> Later. I know it's disturbing. Everyone wants to hear what she has to say. Of course. She, She's she got a lot of very... The most nuanced opinion ever. Opinion views on a lot of things. Very intelligent looking and uh sounding and actually the being. woman that got a prince to leave the royal fucking family they, anyway i sorry, did not I got, mean to I take got, you off i track. got distracted i i just got very livid <laughs> within the moment i'm sorry came up my boy joey rogues um i forgot my train of thought but oh don't trust the fbi is what i'm basically <laughs> saying at the end of the day don't trust any federal agency. They're from the government and they're not here to help. Is that is that is that a succinct enough thing to sum it up on? Yeah, that's that's I'm getting funny. hot now. I'm getting vapors. Well, the la- the last two things before we move on to the Epstein Make segment, I'm just going to rattle them off real quick, quick. One thing Zuckerberg said in there is third-party fact checkers are doing this, not us. That's not our role. Well, <laughs> When it's well documented how many writers for these third-party fact checker sites have written highly partisan stuff in favor of Democrats and anti-Trump people, for other outlets, you start to su- you start to wonder about the impartiality of the fact checkers. And then finally, the last one is he said, Joe, with his always inquisitive every man question, says, "Well, like." How much did what you did versus Twitter outright banning it uh, really impact it? And Zuckerberg's exact quote was, "Well, you just turned the them down in the algorithm a little less, so a little, a few less people get to see them." And then later, <laughs> Joe says, "Well, how much of an impact did this have on the election?" And Zuckerberg admits it was meaningful. <laughs> So it either got turned down a little bit, highly suggestive, it didn't impact the outcome at all, or it was a meaningful impact on the outcome. And as we you all want know, to let them take that gamble based on the FBI saying, hush this down? I don't. 